All right, today we're going to be looking at Google Classroom, how you can get the app, how you can set up your classroom, and how to retrieve the class code so that your students can sign up for your class. So first I've navigated to my apps window. So the, I've gone to my little waffle right here, and this is the page that shows up. I have my Chrome store and a few other Google um, apps that I use on a regular basis. You see right here I have Google Classroom. However, if you don't have Google Classroom, just choose to go to the store, type in Classroom, and it will take you to this page. And you'll notice that Google Classroom is the first one that appears. If I don't already have this, or if you don't already have this in your Google Apps, go ahead and choose Google Classroom, and a pop out window appears. From here, this button, this green button right here, which says Launch App, will actually be a blue button that says free. So go ahead and choose that and it will automatically install it into your apps. So going back into my apps, you see all it is right here. So I choose Classroom. And since this is the first time that I'm using this with this account, it tells me who I'm signed in under and it asks me how I'm using Classroom. As I, am I using it as a student or a teacher? For the purposes of this video, we'll be using it as a teacher. So I choose Teacher. And again, since this is the first time that I'm using the Google Classroom, uh, this is the page that appears. And you'll notice it's very easy to navigate. It says, I need to create my first class. So I'm going to choose the plus and create a class. So I'm going to name my class. I'm going to name it fifth grade. And I can also give it a nice section number. I can give it a little detail to it. I'm going to leave that blank. And then I'm going to choose the blue Create button. And you'll notice it brings you directly to your Google Classroom. So from here, you have your stream. So much like Facebook, it's just a stream of either announcements or assignments. I can choose to do either. Here is the, the second tab here is for students. So I can invite students and I would choose that button if I were going to invite students and I could choose from my contacts or choose from a directory of uh, students that are in my school. Now this is really a handy feature however if your school has a walled garden where students cannot send or receive messages from outside of the domain. So, uh, they cannot send it to their personal email uh, this will this feature will not work and you'll be uh, you will have to have your students join via the class code that you see here the last uh, tab you see here is about where I can go ahead and give a few uh, descriptors about my class and and how to contact me so going back to my stream You'll also notice here on the left hand side it has the class code right here and students uh, will be able to join your class via this class code. So, so when students are signing up they would sign into their Google Classroom and it will ask them to sign in using a class code and this is the code you can give them. Now if this zero that you don't like because you are afraid that your students are going to get it confused with the letter O, you can go ahead and choose to reset it and it will give you a new code. So a code that you feel that your students would be able to uh, type in easily. And that's how you get your app, set up your classroom, get the class code and get moving. Another nice feature of Google Classroom is that within your Google Drive, you will notice that there is a now a classroom folder. That was set up for you automatically when you began using Google Classroom. So if I choose it, I can see that here is my fifth grade folder in which of the classroom that I just created. These other classrooms are classes that I had joined earlier. So every time you assign an assignment to your students, there will be a folder that's created within that fifth grade folder and it's easy organizational management for you and your students.